Hi, I'm Dave Cross, here to share with you an example of why I think the introduction of smart objects to Photoshop is one of the most important changes that's happened in the recent history of that program. Smart objects are these amazing containers that allow you to do all kinds of things and preserve all the editing capabilities. You can apply smart filters and change the settings. You can copy the settings from one document to another. You can always edit the original. And you can even set up what amounts to a template to make your life easier. Here's an example of that, how you can create a very simple printing template for every time you want to print, you can save yourself time. Let's take a look. So the idea here is you want to create kind of a printing layout where every time you want to do a print, you want to have your name across the bottom. So all I've done so far is I just have a document and it's created in the size that I want, an 8 by 10 at a resolution of 200 for printing. And you set that up obviously the way that you want. Now normally we could just drag and drop a photograph in, but if we do that, it's kind of a one-shot deal. And the whole idea of using uh, smart objects in this kind of printing template idea is to make your life simpler. So I'm going to use the command file place. And I'm going to go and find the photograph that I want. Here it is here. So we'll place, now it is a camera raw file. So that means it will first open in Camera Raw. I want to make sure that this checkbox is checked that says Open in Photoshop as Smart Objects. And that means it creates this nice two-way street between Photoshop and Camera Raw. I'll click OK. For now, I'll just leave the settings the way they are. Let's put the clarity up a little bit. And then click OK. Now that's going to bring it in with those settings. I'm going to hold down Option or Alt and the Shift key because I want to make this a little bigger and then use the move tool, just kind of nudge it up so the borders are pretty much even at the top and the sides with space at the bottom for my name. Now on top of that, I want to do a couple other things. I want to add a stroke layer style. So let's put it inside and black. And three pixels looks good. Might We could change this, of course. But here's the other thing I think is really cool about doing this as a smart object template kind of idea is I can also now apply my sharpening filter. And let's use unsharp mask just for the sake of argument. And I'm going to put numbers that I know on my inkjet printer I've been happy with. This part, of course, you would set up the way the settings based on what you've done to find out what looks good on your printer. And at this point, I would save this as a PSD file just as you see it. And the most important part of this is this is a camera raw smart object and it also means therefore the filter is smart. So it has the photograph with the stroke on it and the unsharp mask. So I save this as a PSD and I print it. Now I decide I want to print my next image. Well rather than start over again all I have to do is control or right click on this layer and choose replace contents. Then I go and get a different photograph. This is still a RAW file, so it will still open in RAW first. I just want to make sure it's the same size. I adjust anything I need to like this. Click OK. And then very quickly it goes in and replaces it. We see how it automatically puts the stroke around the outside and has that unsharp mask attached to it. This one I would then print, but just to clarify one other part, because this is a Camera Raw smart object, it means anytime I could double click, go back to Camera Raw and say, I think I want to push the clarity even more and maybe lighten the shadows just a bit and click OK, and then it will update and reapply the sharpening filter. The key to this, though, is you got to make sure you save this as a PSD file because that way it saves this so-called template. Now let me also stress, and I mentioned this in other tutorials, it's not really called a template. There's nowhere in Photoshop you don't choose save as template. You just save it as a PSD file. I'm calling it a template to remind you that that's part of the function that this serves. But pretty interesting and simple way to take advantage of both camera raw smart objects and smart filters to set up a really nice easy to use printing template. Please be sure to check out my other videos here on YouTube as well as my two websites, pscs6support.com and learningphotoshop.cc. I'm Dave Cross. Thanks for watching.